We've been looking for him for over a good 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> he fell out this window in his apartment. Breaking news in the case of three-year-old Braylon Noble tonight. His mom and grandmother have now been charged in the investigation of his death. Michael Tater has been in the story since it broke this afternoon. He joins us live from where this all happened at the Hunters Ridge Apartments. Michael, what are the charges? Well, that's right, Dan. A grand jury indicted Dejanay Cox and Bobby Johnson, that's the mother and grandmother of Braylon Noble, for obstructing justice and endangering a child. Cox had claimed that Braylon had fell from their third story window when she first reported him missing, but police later found Braylon dead right nearby at the community pool five days later, and neighbors tell, tell me today they're just happy they're finally getting answers. I'm shocked, so, like, you know, just because I, I don't see how somebody can do that to a kid. People living at the Hunter's Ridge Apartments have been waiting over a year for updates into what happened to three-year-old Braylon Noble. His mother, Dejanay Cox, and grandmother, Bobby Johnson, are now facing charges. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all, actually, like, not a single bit, but it surprises me that they're just now coming out with this information so much, like, way after the salt, they found the baby and everything happened. He was reported missing and found dead five days later in the community pool. Neighbors say the story from the mother never made sense. I always had like suspicion that it had something to do with the parents or the mother and the grandmother. I knew that story was a lie because, you know, even if a kid fell out the window, you would be able, I mean, the kid would be on the floor, right? He wouldn't be moving. The, like the whole body was gone. John Rivers has lived at Hunter's Ridge for five years. He helped in the search for Braylon last year and says it was a big deal. Like, I'm trying to raise my kid here, so the attention they brought, having people come here just to, you know, show love to the memorial was kind of weird because it was all types of different people here. Cox and Johnson are innocent until proven guilty, but neighbors say they hope justice is served for Braylon and people never forget. There's really nothing else we can do, I mean, but hope, for, hope that nothing like that ever happens again. Now, the mayor and Toledo Police Chief George Crawl will hold a press conference tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to discuss the latest on this case. We will bring that to you to live at WTOL Your Day at 9 o'clock, as well as on our free news app, website, and Facebook page. Dan, Melissa. Michael, before we let you go, you mentioned no one's charged with killing Braylon. Have police explained that yet? Well, Dan, the Lucas County coroner was never able to determine Braylon's cause of death, and Toledo police had told us previously that they couldn't charge anyone with killing Braylon until his death was ruled a homicide. Now they have charged two people, and we should find out why and how at tomorrow's press conference. Live in South Toledo tonight, Michael Tater, WTOL 11. Michael, thanks, and WTOL has been tracking this investigation since the moment Braylon disappeared. Here's a look at how it developed. Okay, there's no one in the house. No, we looked in the closets and everything. Friday, September 4th, 2020. Braylon's grandmother, Bobby Johnson, calls 911 around 12.30 p.m. She tells police the three-year-old is missing, and she and the boy's mother believe he fell out of a third-story window at the Hunter's Ridge apartment complex. Toledo police respond immediately, issuing an alert within an hour. Search teams and volunteers scoured the complex and nearby woods, but came up empty. Then, around 9 that night, someone found a bloody blanket and a hole in the ground, but no sign of Braylon. The search resumed the next morning and the next few days. Crews meticulously combed the area, including the apartment pool, but found nothing. Then, it's common practice in police investigations uh, once an area is searched, if nothing's found, to go back and revisit that search area and, and see if anything was missed. On Wednesday, police ask a crowd to back away from the pool at Hunter's Ridge Apartments. They would pull a body, later identified as three-year-old Braylon Noble, from the water. The community that had rallied around Braylon was in shock. The truth will come to the light, definitely. But there were no updates. An early autopsy report on September 10th, 2020, found no trauma and couldn't determine how Braylon died. Drowning was not ruled out. The final conclusion came in March of this year. The manner of death, inconclusive, but a contributing cause, submersion in water. The search for a cause 
becomes more extensive when there's not one that's readily apparent. Now, more than one year later, a grand jury has indicted Braylon's mother, Dejanae Cox, and his grandmother, Bobby Johnson, on charges of obstructing justice and endangering children. But no one has been charged with his death. You can download the free WTOL 11 News app to track the latest on the investigation into Braylon Noble's death. And of course, remember that news conference tomorrow morning? We'll send breaking alerts right to your phone as soon as we find anything out.